in Germany at CNC Center Northheim, where they strive for perfection. Robin, in all my years of doing this, I have never seen a company like CNC Center Northheim. Yeah. It's an amazing workshop uh, Victor and Oksana have. Uh, it's a very mach uh, modern machine shop, a lot of uh, awesome technology here. It's very bright, it's very clean, and a lot of great machines. It's extraordinary. Now we're just about uh, an hour or so just outside of Hanover yeah, in Germany. It's, it's, it's close to Hanover and Göttingen, yes. And Victor and Oksana, his wife, yes. run the machine shop. Yes. But I've got to say, we've only met him not for long, but he's a perfectionist. He is. He wouldn't, he wouldn't admit, but I think he's a perfectionist. Yes. Definitely. Yes, yes. And he wants everything so right. Yes. And so perfect. But what is unique about his business and what does he produce? Uh, unique about uh, Victor's business is that he always strives for, some, for something better, for perfectionism and for the more complex parts, making them even better, better quality, better timing. And that really sets him apart. He's machining the parts nobody else would touch. He's machining the materials nobody else would touch and he has great success with that. He really does. Yeah. Now what strikes me as you walk in here mm -hmm. is just how many spinners that there are uh, here. Yeah, it, he has a lot of spinners. In fact, he has 18 of them. 18 yeah. spinner yeah. machine? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so talk me through his process. Where did the big business begin mm -hmm. then? So, uh, uh, Victor started his business, I think, 18 years ago, about 18 years ago in his garage buying his first spinner machine. 2008, his first spinner machine was a TC400. He actually still has it. We will see it later. And he's grown to get 18 machines. Yes. Let's talk about that precision and element, that mm -hmm. accuracy. Yes. So what machines has he gone for and why? So uh, for the precision element, he has the TTS machines we see over here. Um, this is a multi-target machine, but he also has a couple of our um, ultra high precision PD machines. Um, those machines um, especially bring him the accuracy he needs for his very um, demanding customer. He's serving um, customers from the um, fiber optics industry, from medical sectors, uh, from the chip industry. They, those are very demanding uh, customers with parts uh, which are very complex and uh, asking for a very high accuracy. You've got like a kitchen almost. It looks like a kitchen, but it's not. It's a cleaning room yes. because of the precision. Oh, yes. So um, his customers, a lot of his customers demand immaculate clean parts. And for this, he has a gray and, and clean room where he um, cleans his parts to perfection, vacuum seals them, double vacuum seals them, and then sends them out to the customer without one heart of dust on it. Well, we're not even allowed in that room, are we? Because of the dust. No, no, we were contaminated, air. yeah. Okay, so um, again, we said he strives for perfection. As yes. a business, as a company, he's mm -hmm. got like, he's got air filtration yes. systems and... He has an air, uh, air conditioning system that um, controls the temperature of the workshop, which is really important for the precision, to elevate the precision of the machines. Um, the system is also um, controlling the environment, uh, the level of cleanliness of the, the air. So that elevates our machines to the level to reach reaching the precision his customers are asking for. So he's pushing the machines? Yes, he's pushing the machines. He's constantly working on them. Um, and we, we were talking about that before. Um, Victor and Oksana are actually living in the company. Upstairs. So he's constantly, you know, thinking about how could I improve uh, my processes, my parts. And, and he, if he comes up in the middle of the night with an idea, he rushes down to the workshop and changes something. I mean, most people would make a cup of tea in the yeah. middle of the night. <laughs> yeah. They're not going to run down to he, the... He runs down to the workshop and works on his machines. By the way, Lindsay, this is um, Victor's first machine, the one I told you about, uh, the one he put in his garage 2008. It's a Spinner TC400. It's been through a lot. I mean, this is this was how, how Victor started and the, what, what made it possible to, to, to grow his business. It's been through a lot of bumps and bangs, a lot of trainees, but he just uh, told me today that it's still the same precision than on the first day. So he loves this machine. He will never give it away. I love that. Um, why spinner? Because I know you're from spinner, mm. but 
in I'm all a little in, biased. You are a little, yeah, very biased. But for me, he could choose anyone, any yeah. company. Why did he go to you guys? Well, I think uh, what Victor told me at least is uh, that he's very happy with our level of performance and the re reliability of the machines. So he's been adding machines over the years, year for year he's been adding machines because he's so confident in our service we provide yeah. and also um, in, in the precision we provide and um, the availability of the machines. Another factor would be is um, he told me that um, space is a, is a big issue in Europe, right? Yeah. So we are co on, on confined spaces. So his machines need to have a small footprint, like this machine, yeah? yeah? Very small footprints, um, a lot of stroke, but um, a, a lot of uh, a, a small footprint, which enables you to have more machines on your top floor that you would normally ha uh, be able to have. I've done a case study in the UK and someone bought a machine for that very reason. Yes, exactly. Small footprint, mm -hmm. but a lot of stroke on the mm -hmm. table. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same reasoning, yep. so. Okay, so here we've got quite a few more spinner machines. Yeah, yeah. And why has he gone for what he, he's gone for then? Because it kind of looked like he's grown with spinner. Yes, he did. So, as I told you, I mean, he started with very simple um, uh, lathe, a two-axis lathe. He later added um, three-axis machining centers, like the VC750. He has three of them. And then he, um, he added his first five-axis machine, the U5-1520 which is the successor to the 1530 we know, have nowadays. This is actually it's a my very, favorite. Yes, it's a, it's a very special, very unique five axis machine. You see, you have the five axis table on the right side where you can machine the, the, five, uh, the five sides of the workpiece. And then you have an additional table on the left side, uh, a fixed table, where you can machine the sixth side of the table, which you previously clamped. So whenever you open the door, you pull out a, a finished workpiece from the machine. You can also put longer components on there too, oh, yes. because you can... Yes, that's that adds to the functionality of the machine. I mean, you, if you have that long workpiece, you can leave that, uh, that swiveling table on zero degrees and put a long workpiece over both tables. So flexible. Very flexible, very versatile. And he's gone for automation here. Yes. So this is uh, actually his, uh, the latest addition uh, to his machine shop. It's a Finna U5 630. And... It's not only the machine, but he also added automation with us. So it's, uh, it comes with a spinner Robobox. Um, the Robobox uh, is not only capable of loading, unloading parts into the machine, uh, but this one is, uh, has a special equipment. It has a um, uh, uh, mechanism to flip the workpiece around yeah. to also machine the six sides, the, the lower side of the workpiece. And uh, this way you can, in one setup, finish a workpiece on, on all six sides. He's so passionate. You know, we yeah. were saying that they live at the business. They're so, this is, it's not a hobby. It's not a business. It's everything. It's no, a it's lifestyle. fun for him. It's yeah. fun for him. And that's, that he keeps on repeating that it's fun for him. It's not work for him. It's fun. It's his hobby. Well, he does a very professional job. He does. To be honest. But for him, it's fun. I mean, he's always working on the machines, trying to improve something. If you look at the machines, you see how well tooled they are. So he is always thinking, how can I put even more tools in the machine to make more complex parts? He's uh, machining his uh, own workpiece holding here in the machines. So he's all constantly improving his setups to provide um, better quality parts for his customer, improve the time, and therefore also improve the cost level for his customers. He's grown with you. He's grown with us and uh, we, we've grown with him because we are learning from his experience as well. We are, he's always feeding back to us uh, what, what, is, what, what are the issues, what can, could be improved, and we can work with that and, and make him a better machine, make a better machine for him. You know, I've been to Spinner before, um, the headquarters, and I think for me, when I know Spinner as a brand, mm -hmm. I see a company that is big, but it's also small enough, yeah. small enough yeah. where you're talking to engineers with engineer, you know, you're listening to what your customers are saying and you can make changes, you can make constant improvements exactly. and that's, that's, you, that's Victor. really uh, unique for, for Spinner, I, I, I think, because um, looking at our product range, it's a really wide product range. It starts with very simple lays and ends with um, ultra high precision, five axis machines, automation and so on. Very wide range. 
but uh, people forget we are um, a family-owned, family-operated business, mm. and this is really how we how we uh, stand out because we can be super flexible, we can be super fast. Victor is the kind of person who, um, if he wants a machine, he wants it tomorrow. Yeah. Well, we can't do it tomorrow, but we can do it a couple of weeks. Yeah. So, and, and this is something um, Victor um, likes about Spinner as well, that we can be so agile, so, so fast, uh, having a low overhead and react fast to his demands. It's a really wonderful business, it really is. It can we come back when uh, when when in oh, Vegas? Yeah, in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Let's do that. Hopefully, you get yeah. to see that too. Yeah. Thanks, Robin, and You're thank welcome. you uh, to the team here for letting us have yep, a little talk. Thank you.